Hey guys, little follow up to the last video with this uh, attempt at braking, a braking system. I've got this up out of the way at the moment, but I've had another idea and I'm very appreciative of all the uh, numerous suggestions that I had. Very useful indeed, a lot of food for thought. Whilst I don't think I can do much um, down at the chuck end, which you probably won't see my pencil, <laughs> I had a thought for this back end here. Um, you can see that gear there, I engage that when I want the uh, lead screw and uh, drive shaft running, otherwise I just leave it out. Now the clearance between this gear on the spindle and this one when it's disengaged is about 3 16 so I've got about an eighth of an inch that I can use if I put something in behind this gear i.e. a disc so if this gear finishes up a bit further back um, it's not going to foul up on this one so <clears throat> I've actually loosened I just this has got a grub screw in it, a set screw in it, and it's on a thread. And very conveniently, my handle will unscrew that so you can see what's going on. Let's take that out. All right, so that's that collar. <coughs> and then, um, all right, a bit closer now, you see a little bit more. You can probably see this is threaded. I forget what the thread is, it's pretty fine. Anyway, this gear is on. You might see just there, there's a keyway. So, we work this off. It came off before. Oh, wait a minute, I've got to get past that gear. There we are. So this is the gear that you can see on the spindle plus keyway. Right, that represents half, incidentally, just not quite half. This is the area that I was bearing on with the failed braking system. And what's left there is the other, what, uh, third, I suppose. So what I'm considering is, if I put uh, with a key slot we'll use a piece of aluminum probably an eighth of an inch thick the diameter here is what did I work it out to be hang on diameter on that was one point uh, it's actually nominal one and three eighths which is basically 35 mil now from eBay, I've actually ordered one, um, a bicycle rear disc and caliper. Well, it's the caliper I want. The disc has a 34mm threaded internal diameter, but it has rather a large boss, which is way too thick. And the other thing is that I can't, from the spindle centre here, I can only go to a radius of about two and a half inches. If I go, what you can't see here, behind this gear is another gear, which is probably about a, about a 36 or something. Well, the clearance distance here from the gear that you can't see to the center here is about two and a half inch radius. That would give a five inch diameter which means the disc would the disc would finish up about where my finger is here. You can see that five inch disc. Uh, two and a half inches out to here. So it's about about like that. So the thinking is so far, because I can dismantle this, which I hadn't realized, is uh, if I can make a decent aluminum disc and uh, eighths should be plenty adequate 
maybe even a fraction thinner. Put that on here with a key, keyway in it. I just remembered before I finish on the uh, main subject, the braking, I, I've got the cover off at the back here. I thought some folks might be interested just to see the way this operates, the uh, constantly variable speed. The very substantial pulley belt sits in this main motor pulley and disappears into the headstock where there's another similar pulley which works in reverse. This thrust bar, shall we call it, which bears on the end here, actually slides. I just thought I'd show you it in operation. Quite a good system actually, although the lower end is uh, a bit fast. I'd like it to go a bit slower, but I haven't made any modifications. But uh, quite a simple mechanism and it works pretty well. Fortunately I've got a spare belt, which I've never used yet. So I think it'll outlast me. Alright, back to the original programming. And put this uh, back on over the top of it so that will actually sit you can't see the gap from there I've got an eighth of an inch gap there by eye and I'm still clear by a sixteenth of this engagement cog All right, and then this will go back on obviously not quite as far but I think this might work. So if we have a 5 inch disc then I will make some sort of mounting from the headstock casing to take the caliper and uh, <laughs> we'll see where we go from there. I just thought I'd give you an update as this seems right now to be possibly the best approach. And as I've said before sometimes watch this space will hopefully have some further developments but the bicycle disc, which is only about $15, is coming from China, so that won't appear for a couple of weeks or so. Pretty good value, but if the caliper works, it'll be very handy. Alrighty, bye for now. Thanks for watching.